Hi, how are you today? Oh, don't look at that. That's a spoiler. I thought it would be cute to dress like a little like choo-choo conductor um, because we're gonna be playing the froggy game. Okay, let me load up frog detective. Let's not delay this anymore. I need to do an intro because I didn't do it on the last two. So I'm gonna do it now. It's gonna get awkward. Just stare at me in the eyes and just focus. Okay, I don't even, I don't know how to do an outro or an intro, y'all. Give me a script. Somebody give me a script. All right. Coming up, a froggy way to pass the time. It's the last chance, to, so stick around, froggy style. <laughs> We're doing the last installment of the Frog Detective series. This is the third one. We did The Haunted Island, which was the first one, The Case of the Invisible Wizard, which was the second one, and now today we're doing the third one, which is County... Kermit Count Country? Cowboy Count County. Cowboy Count... Cowboy County. Oh, anyway, let's start. Frog Detective 3, the case of the Cowboy County. Let's go. Ooh. Can you hear the music? It's already, already getting there. Ooh, ooh. Look at how cute these guys are. Look at how cute they are. Starring Larry the Lobster, looking cute with his little badge. We got guest starring Kermit the Frog Detective and the corruption at Cowboy County. I said the, the case of the Cowboy County. Whoops, we all fuck up sometimes. Hey, hey, got coffee. Ooh, 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 ooh. Using spoiled milk. Haven't gone to the grocery store. Using spoiled milk. It tastes kind of funny. Tastes a little sour. We're calling it sourdough coffee. Look at how cute I am in my little cowboy boots. Break ow! Break ow! That's me. That's me pretending to be stuck by a cactus. I don't know if that was very apparent, but where's that phone coming from? There shouldn't be any signal over here. Oh, yeah, get a little scooter. Oh my god, I used to be obsessed with Razor scooters back in the day. I used to have a pink one and it was hot as sh and I would do these cool little tricks, aka like do like boop, and then like that was it. I thought I was the sh Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? I have a special surprise for you. I've ordered something special from Wizbay to help you get around. Oh, is it a horse? What? No. <laughs> Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. I didn't even actually think about it, but yeah, they're all animals, so I guess that makes sense. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What did you order then? A scooter. Of course. Sick! Stop it! Oh my god, we're gonna do wheelies. Oh no. Whoa! Wheelies, bro! Stop! This is the coolest thing! Why does this game keep getting- Oh, no, he did it! He's in the phone booth! He's doing back flips and front flips in the phone booth, y'all! I... Love this game already! Check me out! Mom! Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom, check me out, Mom! Mom! Mom, look at what I can do, Mom! <laughs> Mom, look at me, Mom! Mom, you see what I'm doing? Mom, look! <laughs> <laughs> That's something I would do to my mom, and she'd be like, ah, shut up. <laughs> Look at me going. A room, room. Soundtrack by Dan Golding. Dan, you always killed it, my friend. Every game has been a bop because of your tunes. Plus a special guest. Oh my god, Eggman. Yes, we finally get to see him. He's been in every single game. Yeehaw. This is... This is so cute! I'm so excited! Ma'am! A blood- Oh my god, I fell down? Oh, I fell down and I'm humping the floor. Look away! He's doing some push-ups or some pelvic thrusts. Right on time, detective. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the- Conundrum? Oh, the conundrum of the sheriff of the county. Your cell was thriving, detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. Can I get a yee-haw? The town had realized that for all these years they were missing a vital ingredient for a cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor and then he contacted me. And me! 
The position's already been filled. Oh? I be the perfect boy for the job. Presenting... A bear wall. <laughs> uh, Sheriff Mason Mall! Is there something you need help with? Yes! Can I please tell you, please solve this? I'm having a time to get started! Please solve this mystery as soon as possible! Now, Detective, if I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. I'll handle the motives of the suspects you on the crime scene and the method. All you'll need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one bath since You good luck, Lobster Cop! I don't need it. But you good luck, Detective, because you'll need all the luck you can get. <laughs> I'm improvising now. Sus oh, Susie. Hey, you! Me? me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? I'm Sozy Rabbit. I keep wanting to say sussy. Can it just be sussy? Can we have it sussy instead of Susie? I need you to help me break into this bank. So now you're changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me the f alone. Oh, mad face. Turn around and get all mad. I love her face. Look at how cute she is. I'm upset. If you're here from the Evil Secret Society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. What type of secret societies are there? For starters, you got the naughty little g g naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Uh to be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies, but that's only half true. The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they never tried to recruit me. To be inducted into the League, you need to have spotted a ghost. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or a tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a photo and see if you could tell which of the photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself, I just want to be part of the society. Craig, motive, wanted member to the secret hat society, needs, definite proof of a ghost, notes, inter, or either a conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me, does not buy my detective disguise, drat. Wait, so I'm not a detective, just wants to be a part of something, Oh, don't we all, my friend? No, oh my god, it's the mouse, hold on. I'm taking these gloves because I don't trust you, little mousey. Ooh, these can come in handy. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Handy gloves? Ha 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 ha. Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime? Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? No, no. How's your new position here? What? The job? Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yeah. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Yeah. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became a sheriff, did you have a different job? Yes. Yeah. Well, what was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out? Helped out who? With what? my favorite so far. Mason Mall. Motive. Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. Notes. A fellow a few words. Previous job. Helped out. That's all we know about him? Sneaky. Ah! Oh, Jesus. That's terrifying. Oh, she looks like she'd be, like, super soups hippie. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome to Cowboy County county i can't read that word my name is wendy we have a wide range of general goods for purchase hi i'm the detective unfortunately at this time we don't stock any gear for detective work anyway i'm actually here to ask some questions about the case unfortunately we don't have cases in stock at this time the mystery i mean of the stolen hats Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy Country General Store. To be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I am here on an official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy Country. 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 Oh my god. 
country, county. Jesus. The shop's been in my family for generations, and I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been, but it's kind of like the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse. I guess you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is this one thing. Do you see these porches on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Mine's just a silly photo. I haven't had the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted them. Well, if you find anyone who wants to paint me, can you let me know? Here, take this photo of me. Steal the hat and sell them back to the town. What perfect crime needs her portrait painted? Notes, seven months in the biz, rehearsed and formal, yet professional and warm. I'm now carrying a photo of her and nobody thinks that's weird, especially not me. Well, I can't hear this voice. It just sounds like me, so hopefully it not doesn't sound like me. Oh, you must be pistol! Let somebody find the start in Mount Campbell County! I said it right. And potentially the world! Are you working on something at the moment? Yeah, it's my finest piece yet! Good cut 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 needle, I forgot her name. It's uh It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest every day. I found one today. I haven't seen anything that inspires me. You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. If you can buy me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I'd be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow, this is, this is a view. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. You can keep this portrait if you'd like. Really? You need to throw it out, I don't care. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. Motive. Maybe hats are hard to paint? Needs. Amuse. And some interest safety lessons. Oh, internet safety. Notes. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Cursed. Allegedly. Always giving your banking information to Owen. anyone who asks for it. Dude, I can't read today. Well, good afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Well, I'll hear about hats. I must look like a heck of a suspect. What's that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I couldn't have stole them out of... J I could have... <laughs> I cooked them up in my stew. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? Well, my head is a weird shape. Oh. Head is completely normal. Oh, haha, ha. mine too. I just don't like the way hats look on me with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing. L O L. Okay, L O L. I know a lot about cowboy county, county, country, county. I know a lot about cowboy county. I know it all. Jokey jokes and random yelling? I don't randomly yell. Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? Ha <laughs> legend has it they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them if I, and I'll tell you what I know. Actually, my, make hot stew, did you? Well, of course not, gross. I am making stew though. It's the only way I can get, think of a, of a regular customer. Ugh. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the, I'll give you the cash. <laughs> Oh, and around these parts, there's a really delicious edible cactus flower. Could, could you collect four for me? I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. Oh, oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. I sit around and ponder, detective. Is that, it's this theft a bad thing, perhaps? But who are we to determine good?
and bad. Also, on how is a message, do not let yourself be shielded. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats and no time to consider why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Also, does this horseshoe kind of make me look like Loki? No, seriously though, does this make me look like Loki? I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever and I'm no good at this. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody really gets me, you know? I'll show you what I have so far and I need to help me finish it. Sure. Aha, <laughs> it's perfect. The perfect poem. I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. Hey, since I've written the poem, poem I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do, but every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools, so I don't take the energy of the poem with me. That kind of sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. You got writing set. Guess let's give this back to... Her? So you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep, pissed off the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that about me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Wow, it's great. Pistol, so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge, he was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. A whole ladder? That seems quite big. The dynamite? That's me! I live at 110, 100 Skeleton Street Slippery Pond. Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Great. The detective does have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live because how else are people going to know where you live in a mansion? Okay, even then, just show them a photo and don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. I love these. I love these like little intermissions. What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring them here. I'll beat them up. What? No. Give them a taste of these fists. They're like tiny little fists. Like... <laughs> I'm an outlaw detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Huh? You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was failed just before I got here. Yeah, I know. By some randos. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of all my skills and experience? I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Could you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? Okay. <laughs> I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how did you get these so quickly? If there's anything I can do for you, you let me know. Watch out! I have a bunch of skills. Listen! Looking around in the cowboy town. Got crimes to solve. Gonna follow my friend Frog. Mom, check me out. Look at me go. Mom, hope you love me now. Hope you love me now, Mom. Wish I was your perfect boy, but I'm not just a frog with this scooter toy. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. You got a cactus flower. <laughs> How would you like to ride home on a real cowboy? I got a six pack of cold ones on ice and my room is out all night so you can scream my name as loud as you need to, sugar. All right, so I needed a flower and like carrot, right? That should be enough flowers. Oh, oh, I, not the sticky key, not the sticky key. Your chunk chunk your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am not. My name is Shrink. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no 
authority at all. No, no, you have, you have the authority to steal my heart. You're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts. The hats, right? Mine was stolen. Do you have any ideas who done it? That's what I'm here for. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. Cowboy cow cow country cowboy cowboy country has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everyone respects and understands each other. So I thought it would be better if the sheriff was in us. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get up into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was just thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for a shovel. I'll think about it. I don't know, I found it difficult to pay attention in those eyes. Needs a pickaxe to break into the mine. Notes. Charmin, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. Oh, I love it. Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. I oh, maybe the carrot's in here. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. You got a key. Um, okay, well, this is the map, so can I just take this? I got a town map. So we got a map, a key. What was the other thing? Maybe that's probably gonna be the pickaxe or something. Excuse me, sussy rabbit? Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the flake. Why? Because you always look, because you always flake on your promises. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna have to break in on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone who don't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my fault. Oh? So you want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help? Typical. I just mean, breaking in it sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Booby-trapped. I have a piece of evidence that is vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Ah, so y'all help me. Um, I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning right after the hats were stolen. It had a big letter on the top of it that said crime map, eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. <laughs> That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get in your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules? It's my vault. What are they gonna do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll help me get a fake ID. You mentioned you can forge fake identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you can help me out. Sure, anything my friend the detective. Watch out, look. Amazing, I need to get a fake ID made for Saucy. Can you help? Can't you? Did you wanna know what it's for? Nope, I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Processing. <laughs> oh, that tumbleweed just went right over me. Before I give you this, just so you know, that makes me feel very uncomfortable, but I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop, so here's your fake ID. This rolls, it looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, son of a bitch. How did I not see these carrots? Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best, detective. How'd you ever manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. Well, that's so cool. I bit my tongue. I'll add them to my stew now. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. No, it wasn't. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. 
Well, that's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew right now and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I can give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. You got some stew. Oh, maybe this? Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? <laughs> no, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come right. L -L -L. Well, that's my ex-husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why did you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I don't actually know who that is, but I call him Mark because I think that photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though. He's not actually a haunted photo. It's nice energy. Okay. Photo. Oh my god, that's terrifying. So I took a look at all these photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. I can just tell the energy from this photo is very spooky and deli and suspicious. I said delicious. Hopefully this is enough proof for the ghost spotters league to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you What do you have? A pickaxe. Oh, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. A soul capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel? I think you can be my detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? Could be over the number one best detective. Ah, oh, thank you very much. But then one of the best detectives, this too was clearly for me. Would you look at that? The work came through. A nice at work detective. Thank you, Lobster Cop. Why well, here goes nothing. I don't actually know what the crime scene look or the 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 map. Did it show anything? It's behind it. Okay, so let's just go forth and multiply, shall we? It's a church. He's looking. He's like, um, don't you dare look over there. It's balls. According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh well, I'll just dig up these and hope Lobster Cop has more information. <gasps> was that a picture? Great, I found the hats. I'm sure everybody was gonna be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. It sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Oh, the music's gone. <gasps> oh my God, they're all at the town square. Even my handsome husband or flirt person, my, my Pedro Pascal in the game. Here comes the detective now, just in time for the town meeting to begin. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hat. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust you will have your full attention as I go through the back. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of the sheriff. Shortly after the detective arrived. That's me! As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed the hat dual missing. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of the crime, a hat-stealing monster of the cowboy country, is none other than the second best investigator. Wrong detective! Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This. No, this was a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I found their location. They gave me eyebrows. And why do you look so mischievous? I don't. Someone's drawing eyebrows on me. You have to admit, detective. You have a big motive. A motive? Yeah, I do it and it is big. <laughs> you come into the town that prides itself on a hat. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear a hat because of your weird-shaped head. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me that you do, detective. Well, I also do steal hats and hide them where nobody else would ever find them. But I didn't, I swear! Tell it to the judge. What judge? An actual and is shocking idea, Sheriff Nathan Mole. Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad world. This is the worst year of my life! I got the achievement locked to the bad room. Oh no, this is my naughty corner. Oh, he's so sad. No, 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 no. It is not going to end like that. I've been in to hear the
What is this nonsense? They set him up for failure. Now we know why they call it corruption at Cowboy Country. Country. Whatever. Special apology. Frog Detective fans, Optimus, Cowboy Country residents, Sherman, Kylie Minoj. I feel like she'd be upset. <laughs> Friends and family. We don't have anyone else to credit, and there's still time left on the song. The following credits are from Degrassi, the next generation season six, episode 11. Look at Mr. Kermit, the frog detective. He looks so sad. He looks so bummed. Look, he's just looking out in the sad little corner. Look at him. Is, are we just gonna leave him in there? We can't leave him in there. Oh, this is so sad. Uh, no. He's got a laptop though. That's kind of nice. He's got a laptop in his naughty room, in his bad boy room. Break down the wall, froggy www.frogdetective.net slash blog.html to my loyal frog blog readers. It's hour number one of my time in the bad room. I know that I am innocent, unfortunately, because the numbers one best detective put me here. No one will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I forgot I'm not doing his voice right now. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog, frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes. But if you're reading this, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the theft and return of being a good detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sherman Mason Mole, Sheriff Mason Mole is framing me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding. As is the case with most of the mysteries I'm in. I am grateful that Lobster Cop is giving me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though, I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading, Frog Detective. That's a kiss. <laughs> this is terrible! <laughs> um, oh my god, we don't have these voices for it, for these guys anymore. What's go what's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in the Cowboy County. Coming together. <laughs> the detective has been fighting for a crime! I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. I'll have to solve the mystery myself! <laughs> What? No! Not the Sailor Moon transformation! No! <laughs> oh, I love this so much! Oh my god! This is the best thing I've ever played! Oh my god! Look after the lab, Mo! I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective innocent! Hooah! Wow, Mystery Monkey is so cool. Oh. oh my god, no! This is the coolest thing ever. In a such a is such a twist. Hello! Can I help y'all? Hi, Supervisor! My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course, how can I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise! Hooah! I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here to talk about your detectives. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you haven't heard? Heard what? The detectives been framed for a crime against the Cowboy County. Ha <laughs> ha! That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as to steal the town's hats. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the naughty room. What's the naughty room? It's something the sheriff Mason Mole invented. Ha <laughs> ha! Mason Mole, the name sounds familiar. I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around Martin's Island a while back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in the frog detective's office to look for some clues, huh? An ashtray? Clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Cheese? Mole? This doesn't look right. This doesn't look right. Footprints? <clears throat> I didn't even realize this was happening. Wow. Huh? It couldn't be. Lobster cup. Lobster cup. Photocop a frog detective notebook. Oh, A note. It reads. Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me, your bestie brother, Mason Law. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I'll 
think I get a trace up. I fear that your suspicions are correct, and the fraud detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean, not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. This can't be true. Lobster Cop, the number one detective, a fraud? Ah! Oh, sh! Look at the supervisor came in too. I know where we're supposed to go, but I don't want to go. I want to look around. Oh, sh! What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. Look, watch out! We're here to talk about our good friend, the frog detective. A frog so pretty, so boring, and yet. I can't go on a date with a criminal. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. Ah, oh, sure. We all saw the photo. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated a takedown of our beloved frog detectives. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. If you point us in the direction of where the frog detective is being held, that would have a lot more. Oh, he's sleeping. Let's kill him. Mystery Monkey Supervisor, what are you doing here? I didn't know there was a lot of visitors in the naughty room or that anyone would have wanted to visit me. The stray monkey has proof you all framed. I knew it! Sheriff Mason was, uh, was up to something. It's not just him, detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Malt planned this all along. Lobster Cop is the number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply cannot believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Malt for once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. What is the meaning of this? Only I got to cut town meetings. I have some news about the hat stealing case. Ah! Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found these secret in the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office, that's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes, crime is not real. Ah! I found your secret drawer, I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have my scheme from paper. I... This is a mistake! No, oh, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Fraud detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office at Elf but right and you were so thoughtful in your case solving. I wouldn't read your boy and don't bore you with anything. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Mason Mole was there for me, having friends so important that we were a bad influence on each other. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let the jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? What? <laughs> Lobster Cop, Mason Mall, you had done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies to, in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to the bathroom? Because we've been really naughty. No, but I do think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your power in ways that I cannot begin to comprehend. Mason Mall, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm ready you both! Okay, I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun?! Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real! That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate, I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Why don't you talk about finding about joining the post office? Lobster Post, he has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. What? Well, then it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty, Mice and Mole, God. Do you have anything to say to the detective? <laughs> yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I didn't expect you to forgive me, but I would help hope I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs that I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie and pleasure. Oh, please rest assured you will never have a weight parcel again. Thank 
thank you both for the apology. I accept it. But you both stop. Say, now that we announce all the sword, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. And after some impeccable detective working on this case, I'm really pleased to announce that the number one new but best detective. Congratulations to Mystery Monkey. <laughs> Wow, congratulations, Mystery Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. What? I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective again. This is cute, but I bet you Frog Detective is upset. This was a delightful game. Totally worth ruining my voice. Seriously, some of the best, one of the best series I've played. Just fun and silly and goofy. I'm sad that it's over, unless it's not. Two weeks later, yay! Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking, how may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective, ah! <laughs> Yes, mystery monkey? Happy birthday. Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult question case that I just can't crack, ah! But you're number one best detective. I know, but this one's a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. You creep! You took my job. Oh my god, he just stuck a sticker on top of Lobster Cop's face. I love it. Well, 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 if it isn't Mystery Monkey. This information is all in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Oh my god, surprise! We Hello! Oh my god, it's all my friends! Wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, detective, we appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged here to come say hello to you. That's not all, detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Wednesday. It's a stripper! I'm just kidding. Oh my god, why would I want them to be my birthday gift? They all suck. Special delivery. It's a little hat! Wait, what is this? Oh, this is my boyfriend. This is my boyfriend. This is who we're talking about. That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits perfectly. Oh, he's crying! Stop! He's crying! He's oh, that's all he wanted! In the one, two, and three, all he wanted was a cute hat! To be cute! And match with all his hat friends! Thank you for playing Frog Detective. We have loved making these games for you. We are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story! I'm kind of sad. I kind of wish they wanted they make more. Collaborating on our latest potion, Lola and Mandy. Oh my god, I love this so much. Hat is happiness. Oh my god, finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smile 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. <laughs> oh my god, family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross from Noodle and Barney. Oh my god, we're on a date. Oh my gosh. Love it. Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. Sherman. Ah, I love this. I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat up anyone <laughs> from Ronda Dynamite. Oh my god, I really want them to make more. Oh my god, my whole heart is like beating so happily. We are not the same guy. Larry and Lobster Posty. <laughs> I broke my leg. Sent from phone. Naughty. <laughs> I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. From Victor. I had a great time playing each and every one of them, and I don't want it to end. I'm sad that it's over. I kind of want them to make more, but I'm happy that I got a boost of serotonin for three weekends in a row playing such a cool game. What are we supposed to do now? What are we supposed to do now? I'm really happy and thankful to Inception Talent for giving me the codes for this and for the developers of the game that sent it to Inception Talent to give to me. I'm very, I'm very, very thankful and very happy. All right. I love you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and thank you for just supporting me bye i'll see you later love you bye wash your hands yes it doesn't take a scientist to understand what's going on baby